Hello world, and welcome back to Minecraft Memoir. This is episode 35. In the last episode, uh, we worked on starting the Aleph Library, and we also did a bit of building on this addition for the sugarcane farm in the greenhouse. Uh, so I mentioned in the last video that I messed up with a bunch of the measurements here, so I couldn't do any further building, uh, or at least I couldn't do any further on camera. Um, I haven't done anything in this world, but I did go to my test world, and I figured out generally what I would like the uh, sloped outer portion of the buildings to look like. Uh, so the parts that you'll be able to see from the wall here. Um, a few things. Uh, so one, there's going to be three of those like outer sections, and then this one. Uh, this one's going to be different from the other ones. I mentioned this one's a bit wider. Uh, this one's seven wide, and I think the other ones are only five wide. Um, but there's also a lot more like negative space between them. You can see there's only one block here, uh, but I think it's three now. So uh, that being the case, I'm going to start dressing up this bit here. Um, I also need to take measurements from this world so I can compare them to the test world, uh, because I was kind of like freehanding it, and I wasn't really like referencing uh, anything that I've already done here. So let me get started on this window here. I hope my health bar is a good indicator. I have fallen probably enough to die at least three times over. Um, turns out it's pretty hard building on cliffs, uh, especially when you're building more out than you are in. So uh, I had to build these like dirt bridges so I could stop falling. Um, but here's how this connector piece looks. I think it's all right. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this bit down here. You can see I kind of tried to imply that there's like a cobblestone foundation, uh, but I might fill that and these two blocks with more wood, uh, just to make it look like it runs all the way down. Um, but it, it looks kind of nice. Uh, let me build up a bit so you can see the roof. Um, this is definitely not going to be the focus. It'll be kind of hidden once I build uh, this section here, which you can see I put these slabs to indicate where the next roof is going to go. Uh, but it'll be kind of tucked back a bit. So there's that roof. I'm still going to have to rebuild this area, I think, because uh, I might want the roof to go further back into the mountain. But now I need to start working on the three outer sections. Uh, and one caveat is that in this world, the mountain kind of curves back a bit. You can see it kind of curves that way. But in the test world, I just did this on a flat face. Uh, so I might still have to change the design that I've already changed multiple times. So we'll see. But I think what I'm going to do is for this one, it'll be pretty much on the same level as this one. And then the future ones will go down like two or three. And here's where we're at on the inside. Uh, a few notes. One, I had to move this wood log forward one. Uh, so now this face is pretty flat. To adjust for that, I put in these windows and like little stair bits. Uh, I think that looks pretty nice for this room. This is the only one that's going to really appear all that flat anyway. Um, and as far as the roof goes, now the roof outside kind of dictates what I do for the roof inside. Um, even though we're in a mountain here, uh, that means I'm going to extend this roof that I built on the outside as far as I can towards that wall. So it follows this curve. Uh, I also pushed this wall back two more. Uh, initially I had it here, but uh, that just didn't really look very good. Also I wanted to add in uh, maybe some wood uh, instead of cobblestone there. Or no, I'll leave that cobblestone, but maybe I'll add a row of wood behind it. So I just decided to mine out the wall. Um, the only place where this roof won't extend is right here in the hallway. It's either going to be lower or higher. I haven't decided yet, uh, but having it extend all the way through would just make it look too much the same. Uh, so that's where we're at. Uh, now, since I want this part of the farm on the same level as this part. Uh, I actually don't need these stairs, so I'm going to raise the whole thing up one and then hollow it out. 
which looks like this. Uh, so I decided while I was digging that for this middle hallway section, uh, you can see here the ceilings in these hallways are seven high. So I think I'm just going to continue that trend and uh, make them seven high here. So I think they're six high at the moment, which means uh, they'll go that high. So now that I've got the inside here, uh, I'm going to do the outside. I'm only going to do this first one so I can show you what it looks like. Um, also because I need to now readjust my design for you know, this curved mountainside. Oh wow, okay. So uh, it's been a few hours. I had to take a break. Hurricane Ian is rolling through, and uh, while we haven't lost power, it did flicker enough times that I thought it was necessary to shut down my PC. Uh, I trust my power strip, but like I'd really just rather not risk the chance of frying my really expensive gaming PC. But despite that, we finished this first section here, and I think it looks really nice. Let me step back so you can actually see it. Uh, a few things here. So these wool blocks, torches on them, uh, I'd like to replace in the future with glowstone, but obviously we don't have glowstone. Um, the whole point of building this is to go to the nether or at least this is a really roundabout way of going to the nether. Um, but uh, I thought those would be nice placeholders for the time being. Uh, second thing is I initially had oak trap doors on the front face here. Uh, it just added like a little extra design. I had two there, two there, and one there. I gave this kind of like diagonal pattern that worked really well. Uh, and I thought we could do that in this version, but turns out Trapdoors are added in beta 1.6, so that's going to be a while. Um, I might come back and throw those on uh, when they are added, but I feel like we're going to be so far along that we'll probably have moved past this build. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll remember it and come back, who knows. Um, and also, inside here, I haven't like finished up the roof or the ceiling of this hallway here. Uh, I'd like to finish the other two front faces before I do anything inside. Uh, all the you know, dressing up here will be the last step. Or really, it'll be the second to last step, because the last last step is uh, you know, planting all the sugar cane. So um, let me get the other two front faces on here. Last thing is I haven't figured out if I want this pathway here to curve, or if I want uh, these front farms to like squish, because as it curves, I'm either going to have to choose one or the other. Uh, I think I might do a mix of both, that way neither is too extreme, um, because if I only you know shorten the farms we might not have uh, a left-hand farm, a left-hand side farm, you know what I mean. Um, so I'll have to figure that out, uh, but first things first, I'm gonna get on these other two faces. Okay, so I made a little more progress than the other two faces, um, I, I kind of got a little carried away. That seems to be a common theme for me. Uh, but, you know, sometimes it's just really not convenient to start recording, so you just want to, like, keep trying to make some sort of progress, uh, which is what I do. So I finished the three front faces. Uh, here's from this side angle. Uh, I wanted to show this angle because I was trying to determine whether or not I wanted to bring each of these forward one more, or I guess that one forward one more, and then that one forward two. Um... So I didn't know how I felt about like this diagonal with the stairs. Um, these stairs here are supposed to be some sort of like power line or just like cable connecting them. Um, might not even be a cable, it's just some sort of like visual connector. Uh, and it kind of followed that diagonal I was building on, so I left it. Uh, let me come over here. Actually, you might not even be able to see. You have to jump into the lake. Uh, you can sort of see it. My grass pathways are kind of in the way. Um, but, you know, they're all the exact same. Uh, the only thing is I actually haven't put on the little fence post uh, wool torch things. So, ooh, uh, I need to finish that. But um, I dug a little bit of the inside here. So here's how this looks. And then you can see I ended up not curving the stairway at all, uh, so it just shortens this like front section. 
So up here, the first one is six, yeah, six long. Uh, and then the next one is three. And then the one after that is gone. Um, so because of that, I think I'm going to make these ones uh, longer to accommodate. I tried like a few curving design patterns with this hallway, but since this one up here, this uh, stairwell doesn't curve, and I really don't want it to, uh, any curves down there just kind of looked weird, so I didn't bother. Uh, yeah, so now I think I'm just going to finish hollowing everything out. Um, I was initially going to have the wall end here, uh, but I would like to see the platform above from the platform below here. So I'm going to make it reach all the way uh, to the next like growing platform. Um, two things I also forgot to mention. One, uh, you can see the building here on the end kind of reaches like the grass level. Uh, so I'm going to need to do a lot of terraforming here to make it look like it's still part of a cliff. Um, this side is going to wrap around, so it's going to be different from like the other two uh, jut out bits. Uh, this is going to be like an actual like wall that you can walk into with a door and everything. So fancy. <laughs> um, so I need to figure out a design for that. Uh, so I've just kind of left it full of dirt. I'll figure that out from the inside first, I think. Uh, secondly, I, I can't tell if you can tell, but it feels like these recording clips are a lot smoother. Um, in my OBS settings, I ended up changing a few things. Oh, let me go check what those were. Okay, so I got it written down here. Uh, so two things I changed that I really feel like uh, really improved the choppiness of my frames. Firstly, uh, so the monitor that I display on is a 2560 by 1440 and I downscale it to 1920 by 1080. Uh, so the filter I was using to downscale before, and this is kind of like technical language, so anybody who's not recording stuff, uh, this might not matter to you. But I was using the Lansos, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, downscale filter, which is like 32 samples. I changed that to the bicubic one, which is 16. Uh, and that feels like it made a huge difference, and other people apparently uh, report the same. The other thing is my CQ level for recording. Um, that's the, oh gosh, let me look here. The rate control. I use the CQP uh, rate control. And for the CQ level, I used to have it as, as 14, uh, but I think that was just too much. So I've been kind of messing around with that, bringing it between 15 and 16, and I think that helped a little bit. So if you're recording your own videos and you've tried all the settings and everything and you think it might be your PC, try those um, because that very much helped. It, it The videos seem a lot smoother, which I'm quite pleased about. So it's been a few days since I recorded that uh, last set of clips, so I'm actually pretty much done with the interior here. Uh, obviously we've got a few more things left, like the ceiling needs to be fully cobblestone, uh, and we have to actually put in the sugarcane but I figured I'd wait to like fully finish it. Uh, I wanted to record one more clip. So here's how we're looking. Let me show you, this is the top floor, platform floor, I don't know. But the middle one, and then the bottom one. Uh, and then right here, I haven't finished the doorway out. So that's why it's almost finished. Uh, so let me explain a few of my design choices here. Um, firstly, for the dirt placement for the farms, uh, I did actually try out that tessellating design, you know, the one that looks like a pinwheel, and it pretty much broke even uh, with the amount of, like, empty spaces, or, you know, spaces filled by water or not being occupied by a sugar cane. Uh, so I did these strips instead, and it looks pretty good. Um, the platforms weren't quite wide enough. I think they needed an extra two blocks. Uh, so that was easy on the bottom here. But for the top, I ended up making that look like it's some sort of like hydroponics hey. system uh, where you know, like water flows down. Um, because I also had to change where the logs like came in. 
I didn't have to change them, but they ended up like being adjacent to water. And I usually don't like having wood in water, because realistically, I don't think that would work out super well. Uh, but now that it's like implied that the water is flowing, I feel a little better about it. Like at least it's not stagnant water sitting next to wood. So I think the design looks pretty good here. Um, I had to swap out some of the half slabs for full blocks so I could put torches on them. Uh, speaking of torches, you can also see these like chandelier type things. Uh, I'd in the future like to put glowstone on them, but again, we don't have any glowstone. So, and then this is the final large room. Uh, most of the water streams, or not most of them, all of the water streams here follow this original pattern to try to make it look like, you know, it flows the same way all the way down. Uh, so it kind of messes up with the symmetry yeah. here, but I'm willing to uh, throw away symmetry for the sake of continuing my water sources. Uh, and now for these little side farms, they're not little, but you know, comparatively, they're little. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have sugarcane here after all. I think I'm going to do different stuff. Like you can see, I was going to do cactus here, maybe. Uh, for this middle section, I, I don't know. I put these signs down when I was working one night pretty late, so uh, I'm not sure what they all say. Mushrooms, yeah. And down here, I'd probably do like a small mushroom farm, uh, but we can't grow mushrooms yet. That's what I meant by when they come out. So that'll be for the future. Uh, for now, it'll just be an empty room. Uh, and then lastly here, I would like to put in a like small, low roof room. Because I had to extend... Oops, had to extend cobblestone here, uh, and it just doesn't look right. So I think maybe if we went out another three or four blocks and then gave it a wall, it looked pretty good. But I don't want to do that right now. Uh, we've already spent more than half the episode on this, so I'm going to get over to the library. I almost forgot literally the most important part of all of this. Uh, actually planting the sugarcane <laughs> i was not thinking so let me plant all the sugarcane uh, and then we will start working on the library hey hey we finally have a sugarcane farm very nice i'm so stoked it looks great um the count isn't perfect because we have torches kind of interspersed uh since you know the chandeliers aren't finished yet but once those torches are removed, we will have 286 sugarcane crops, uh, which is very nice. I think that's comparable, if not more, to the ones that we've got planted way over there. So before I do any actual block placing, uh, I'd like to discuss what I'm thinking I'll do in here. Most of my plans are still tentative. Uh, I've done a bit of building in my test world, but I'm not really sure... Uh, as far as like the block palette goes. Uh, what I think we'll probably do is for the first floor, it'll be mostly cobblestone and logs with a bit of planks mixed in, uh, but I don't want too many planks because bookshelves also share like a lot of the texture of planks, uh, so that might get too much. Um, and then I think for the second floor, the walls will be mostly planks. I don't know what the ceiling will be, but uh, the floor I think will have a mix of regular stone and maybe some clay. Uh, I'd like the floor to be a light color with very little texture. Most library floors are just like tile. Uh, so that's the idea. I'm really trying to decide whether or not I want to like dig out the second floor before I start building or not. That's so much work, but I think it needs to be done. Every time I quarry large areas, I'm just amazed at how long it takes. Uh, it's been like over two days since the last clip was recorded, which doesn't sound like a lot, but if you consider that like the entire time I've only been making progress in the form of mining, uh, that's a lot. <laughs> so, since this process is taking really long, 
Uh, I don't want to show you anything behind me because I am a good ways in. Uh, but since it's taking so long, let's see, I made some TNT. Forgot some stuff on my crafting grid here. Uh, took a jaunt over to the desert to grab some sand so I could craft this. Uh, maybe it needs to be up one more. I haven't actually used like TNT in this version yet. Let's see. Yeah, oh man, that's way easier. Uh, I'm going to use some more TNT. Okay, uh, I've only used three pieces of TNT and I've already messed up. So, very nice. I kept hearing water, so I decided to mine through the wall. And turns out we are all of three blocks away from the sugarcane farm here. So, a little close for comfort, but uh, I think we can make that work. I might not even include this in the video so I can keep my end goal obscured, but uh, taking one last look. I remember saying a while back that uh, I would like most of my builds to kind of follow the landscape, um, you know, and not break too much. And this build definitely breaks that rule. Um, this build saw that rule as a challenge. Uh, so here is the progress I have made. Uh, did way more digging than I thought I would. Um, I honestly think I might have done more than I did for the first level here. Uh, although I can't say that for sure. Uh, it's very, very open now. We're going to pretty much close it right back up once we start building. But it looks kind of cool like this. Up here is an example of the little small curvy bits uh, on the edges of the Aleph symbol. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to put here. Probably some sort of study rooms or just tables, because uh, I think it's a little too small to be, you know, part of the bookshelf array that like most libraries look like. Uh, so those will be probably here on the second floor. Um, I have to decide if I want them to run perpendicular uh, to this you know, row of wood, or if they're running parallel. Uh, most libraries have them running parallel, but if I do it perpendicular, uh, then I can definitely add more books in here and make it look more kind of like a maze. It's not supposed to be a maze, or at least up here isn't. Down there, or maybe over there, uh, will be. But up here is supposed to be just kind of rows. But I still do want it to be kind of looming and, you know, confusing. You get lost in the rows of books. So I, I still need to figure that out. Additionally, um, I had planned to have this walkway, uh, what is it, five wide, if you include the logs. Uh, this one is nine wide, if you include the logs. Um, so basically, I just like removed a section of torch and three blocks uh, because it went too far this way. Now, it wouldn't actually hit uh, this small curvy S section. I suppose I should show you an uh, overview, but it wouldn't hit this. But uh, when you leave like the door, it's very cramped, even now with um, this part of the curvy section. I should really figure out what these are called. Let's say they're accents. Uh, even on this accent part, or even with just this accent part, it's kind of dark down there. So I'll probably leave it um, only five wide instead of nine. So let me uh, try to pillar up and I can show you what it looks like. Um, one of the big problems I'm having to look at now is this skeleton spawner. Uh, I still kind of want it in the library. Actually, I still very much want it in the library, but it's just not in a good spot. Um, so I'm going to have to figure something out here. I'll probably like destroy the whole spawning chamber and just do it over from scratch. But that's for later. Uh, oh, I guess I'm at the build height. Okay. <laughs> so you can see here, this is the shape it makes. Uh, I really like the way it looks. 
I had to make sure that um, certain World War II groups didn't use any uh, symbol like this. Because I know they liked their S's, but um, that is definitely not the inspiration here. Uh, and I think it doesn't look like anything uh, related, so we're safe. Uh, yeah. So now, uh, I guess we can actually start building the first floor. Yeah, I lied. Uh, we don't have nearly enough time. We're pretty close to the end of the episode here, so uh, we're not going to make any meaningful progress on the Owl. That's the Aleph Library for the cool kids. Uh, so instead, <laughs> I wanted to show you the tree farm here. Um, I didn't, like, do a whole lot. Uh, really, I said what we were going to do, where um, we would put dirt on top of the stumps down there, uh, and then put slabs around those, and make, like, glass walkways in between. Uh, only problem I'm finding here is that the trees grow too low, so I can't actually walk on these walkways. Uh, so I'm going to have to redo all of this. Basically, I'm going to have to chop all these trees down and then place the dirt blocks up one, which is so frustrating, but what can you do? So, uh, and then there's a torch at every single tree here because they don't stretch to uh, cover both trees because uh, trees need a certain light level or else the saplings will like uproot. So, uh, this is definitely a good idea. I can see this becoming a very nice looking build once we actually put some work into it. <laughs> uh, but that is not the build right now. We will be working on the Aleph Library more in the next episode. Um, hopefully we'll actually get some decor in. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care.